heading over to Dollar Tree today. It's been a long time, a really long time since we've done a Dollar Tree shop with me. So that's what we're gonna do in today's video. I'm gonna take you along with me and show you what is new. Hey, hey you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. We're heading over to Dollar Tree today with our masks on. And I'm gonna walk you through the store and show you what's new. It's been a while since I have been to Dollar Tree, but I had to gather some extra supplies and things that the girls needed for all their schoolwork. So while I was there, I looked for some of the new things that I think you guys might like. If you're new to the Purple Alphabet, make sure to click subscribe. We do educational activities for kids and ideas and inspirations to learn through play. I would love it if you were to join the Purple Alphabet family. And if you are new, say hi down below in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. So let's head out over to Dollar Tree. First things first, I put on my mask and I headed to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree's been open during the whole pandemic. However, there are limits to how many people can be in the store. The store is 20 people and you have to wait outside until you can go in. I asked you guys on Instagram, when was the last time you went to Dollar Tree? And there was a mixed response of all different types, meaning like that day, several weeks ago, a couple months ago. So I hope you find this video helpful. Of course, we have all of our 4th of July stuff out and ready for the picnics. However, I'm not gonna really focus on that. And we also had a whole bunch of luau, barkyard, party kind of things, and I'm not gonna focus on this either. Only because I'm really looking for school stuff and I wanted to get out of there a little bit quicker than normal. However, in the luau section, I did find something that was pretty interesting and kid related, and that was a wind chime, a wind wind chime. These wind chimes were really interesting because they came with the actual chimes inside, the twine to hang everything together, the wooden pieces to decorate the paint, the paintbrush, so you can make a little wind chime. And there's so many different themes. There was an under the sea theme, there was a nautical theme, so I thought those were different and interesting because we haven't seen that at Dollar Tree before. Of course, we have all of the water items, which the time to buy is now. These water squirters are a new style this year. They have a little bit of an animal on them that I think were really really cute so two of those went home with me we use them in the pool and of course they had the same traditional ones I actually talk about the different things you can do with water squirters outdoors in some of my outdoor videos in the summer section I could not resist these paper plates how cute are these popsicle paper plates I took home the rainbow one and a couple of others just to have you know if we like to have a little picnic out in our backyard they also had some lemon and lime ones but lots of cute tableware if you're into the tableware but that's not what we're here for right oh I want to pause real quick on these a lot of people will use these as bubble dispensers so put your bubble liquid inside of there and then you have a dispenser that you can pump out your bubble liquid and use it out in the backyard I think that's brilliant in the new stuff for the yard check out these these are not your typical pinwheels they are flower pinwheels and so they spin just like a pinwheel would but they're in shapes of tulips so I took home a blue one and a green one for our backyard all right now we're getting on to the kids stuff I first ran into these learning resource games I've actually been shown these before by a subscriber so thanks for sharing with me on Instagram these are amazing these are a bingo cards for color they also had one for numbers and they had one for sight words I have a feeling there might be a couple others out there too but I did buy the sight words one just to mix things up in our house for this summer I'm gonna try it out and I will mention how it goes over on Instagram so I'm excited to see what it's like because learning resources you really can't go wrong here's the sight word one I love it I want to mention some great items to have if you're doing homeschool at home these game dice are perfect to do activities I have a whole video on using dice and learning activities this is a score for sure and also a score are these cones if you're doing any kind of obstacle course outside or you're playing outdoors more often these are a steal they're two for a dollar they're not really big but they are a great buy okay we're heading over to the school section now which we already know has a lot of great stuff I'm going to show you some of my favorites that have always been there plus a few new things too and one of those favorites are these little kits these are great for stem bins are great for manipulatives there's three or four different styles I don't have these because I have very similar things already but these are great starter kits because you can kind of mix and match what you want so I was thinking about doing a stem video making stem boxes if that's of interest to you write me a comment down below and let me know because I will certainly make a video all about stem boxes counting chips also a favorite Dollar Tree recently started carrying these but this is a 
steal, you guys. 75 chips in here for a dollar. Get two of them, you have 100. You can do a lot of counting addition with these counters. And of course, a favorite are these timers, and I mention them because they're two minute timers, which is perfect for knowing how long to wash your hands. Yeah, mention that in my hand washing video. Love these timers, they are steal. Grab a couple if you ever see those. All right, now this is what I came here for, the art pads. I love these pads of paper, so I got one of these, which is just plain paper, but then of course I also needed one of these pads, which is a manuscript tablet. We use these in first grade for a lot of our work that we're turning in and I was totally out, so I grabbed one of these too. This is a steal, it's only a dollar and it's much more expensive at other stores, so be on the lookout for that one. Here's another favorite, these are foam cubes. Use these as counters, use them as different types of manipulative activities. Love these, I wanted to make sure I mentioned that they're starting to carry these back in stock again, and of course they all have different colors. Get a couple of these packages because you will love them that much. Also great for stem bins. New to me, check these out. These are storage trays, three to a pack, and they're like rainbow colors. I think these are so much fun. So use these in your drawers to organize, use them in your classrooms, use them in your homeschool room you can put so many things in here pencils pens and get all organized this is fabulous it's brand new and i love the size of these and of course i love the colors another oldie but goodie if you're doing homeschool are these dry erase blocks they come in two different colors but you can write on them with a wet erase marker and you can do a whole bunch of games with these you can put sight words and numbers and letters all kinds of good stuff on there i've shown you the crayola crayons before we know they exist at dollar tree but i think i've also shown you these they're the pearl, the neon, metallic, and then also the glitter crayons. And so I thought I'd grab a couple of these just to try them out to see if they work, to put a spin on just our traditional crayons that we have at home. And then they also have this small packet of colored pencils. Huge fan of these markers right here. I'm gonna freeze on here because I use these in my restaurant kits. They're just a great marker set to put in a restaurant kit in your bag to have extra. And I really like them. They're called the Super tips so if you haven't tried those those are a good find and I like those a lot this is totally new we have some colored glue from Jot which is the Dollar Tree brand but we also have the colored glue from Crayola and check it out there's four different colors the blue the green yellow and red and they dry in that color you can even make some window clings on this and put them up in their wind on your window when they dry that can be a really fun activity so I grabbed one of each color in this as well just to try it out because I was so excited to see that they had it and it dries in color, how cool. A couple cool finds here. These were some Crayola Art Edge coloring pages. This one's in a Harry Potter theme. All kinds of pages in here to color, 28 in total. We aren't really Harry Potter fans yet, so I passed this one up, but I think this is a steal. But they also had a couple of other coloring books I'm gonna show you. Here's a random one that was put here by mistake, which was Complex Mazes, which, which I thought was kind of interesting. Another Art Edge, this one was kind of more of your dragon theme. And then of course, a Wonder Woman one, which went home with me. These were just kind of fun finds, and I thought they were really cute. This one is also interesting, too because it was more of your inspirational themes. Over in the arts and crafts section, what's new over here are these cutting mats, which this one looked to be great quality, really, really good quality. It is on the small side, but this is great for your crafters if you have smaller items and you need a cutting mat for, definitely be on the lookout for that one. Also new in the craft section were these adhesive sprays. So if you do any kinds of arts and crafts, I'm really curious to know if these adhesive sprays work. Let me know if you tried them. And then of course I came here also for the glitter glue. So I grabbed a couple packets of these because we are always using these at our house. Super surprised to see this. It is a pencil and brush organizer. You put it together and it spins and it holds 49 different things, paint brushes, crayons, markers, you name it can go in there. These are photo pockets. So they're magnetic on one side and clear on the other. You can put a picture in there and use them on your lockers. Well, you're not going to school, so you're probably not gonna use it on your locker, but you can also use it in your home, which is what I plan to do. Construction paper is always a great find here. Definitely needed this. So we have the colored tablets in full size, but then you also have them in the half size. I like the half size ones because you're never really using the full sheet of construction paper. So we get the half sheet. And then they also had this sketch pad, which has 40 sheets in it. And then they had the Crayola one, which is very similar, which had less sheets in it. So I definitely would get the one with more. The quality of the paper is just about the same. The Crayola might be a little bit heavier 
heavier but you know you go through paper so much I'd rather have the 40. I also came for stickers we were on a sticker ban for a really long time in my house but we finally run out because we're doing so many cards and crafts and things for teachers so I wanted to pick up several packets of stickers I got some with birthdays I got your generic ones with stars and hearts and then I especially like these packets right here these look like scrapbooking stickers that you would get at a more expensive store so a huge fan of these and then plus you can flip them and you can see what is included on each sheet that you're getting the quality on these are great so I came home with several packets of those just to restock our sticker selection so when we make cards we have a whole bunch to choose from I also wanted to mention they have a lot of the licensed characters plus these one sheeters which isn't the best value but they are really super duper cute every theme everything was stocked up and one last find that I thought was great were these crayon cases. I haven't seen them before, but these are perfect to fit a box of crayons in them. And they're a little bit too big for the restaurant kits that I usually make my activity kits. So I didn't pick one of these up, but if you wanted a crayon box that was just like the crayon box that you purchased your crayons with, this one would be perfect for that. I'm really curious to know what is your favorite homeschool item to buy from the dollar store because I stocked up on a lot of things while I was there. Leave me a comment down below telling me what that is. I like to hear what you guys buy from the dollar store. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.